Hello, I'm Dr. Guy Yatros from Dental Sleep Solutions and Dental Sleep Medicine Insider Magazine. I'm going to talk today about the items that you may need and want to get in your practice to get going in dental sleep medicine. There's not that many of them. It doesn't cost that much, but I'm going to try to get through it in about five minutes, so I'm going to talk pretty quick uh, so we can get through all the items that you need. First of all, you need a way to screen your patients. Uh, we use uh, tablets with our application so the patient can very readily see their risk. And so if you're going to use our application, you're going to need to get a few. Uh, we recommend 10-inch tablets to get going. Once we screen our patients, we need to start talking to them about their airway problems. You can get things like the airhead here that uh, shows airway problems and how mandibular advancement devices with the moving jaws. Uh, I think one of the simplest things you can do is just get a, a photograph, uh, an anatomical photo of the airway, and, and you can use this to talk. Patients really get the the message when we use this, and we use this as much as we use anything. Once the patient understands that they are at risk for sleep disorder breathing or maybe have apnea and we're going to make them a mandible advancement device, they want to see the device that's going to actually go in their mouth, the one they're going to wear. And so for whatever devices you're going to do, you want to make sure you have a model that shows that particular device and that we can actually put in and out on a model and they can see that this is what they're going to going to look like and what they're going to wear. I think it makes treatment acceptance much higher. One of the other things you may need is, is, a, is a skull or something showing the TMJ and how this actually works and muscles uh, so we can talk about possible side effects and so forth with dental sleep devices. Uh, once the patients have said yes to treatment and we're going to get going, we need some other things. First of all, we're doing a medical procedure now that you may not be uh, as familiar with. And since it's a medical procedure, we need to weigh our patients and just getting a bathroom scale so that patients can uh, be weighed, put that on a hard surface and, and weigh your patients when you're treating them for OSA in your office. Uh, we also want to do something uh, about measuring their neck. Uh, we can do this to see if they're at risk, but also it's part of our, our examination as we're treating our patients. So we want to tape measure so we can measure their uh, neck very readily in the office. Uh, we can also need a way to measure the patient's range of motion, how far their jaw moves forward and backwards, and how wide they open and how much they move sideways. The two gauges we recommend for this are either the Pro Gauge or the tap uh, or the uh, George gauge and they both do a good job of measuring forward and backward movement and we can use these also to take the bite so just figure out which one of these you want and, and, and start with one of those we also want to have a way to measure how wide the patient can open and side to side and I use these little triangles that I think work quite well you may have another way in your office that works well that's fine but you can need to measure how wide they can open and how far side to side they go other things we may need clinically you're going to need a lab handpiece uh, it works much better than the air-driven ones. You can buy these for about $100 off the internet now. Uh, this is the kind that we've been using, although one of them did catch on fire at one point. But uh, other than that, they've worked quite, quite great. Another clinical tool you can use, sometimes the devices get a little loose. And we used to reline them and have a lot of issues with that. These things called Hilliard pliers, which are made for Invisalign. You want to get the one with the red uh, band on it. And it makes nice little undercuts in, in some of the devices and can can make your devices fit uh, tighter when they loosen up without having to go through a whole lot of hassle. Also, you're gonna need to heat your appliances up, uh, the devices up to, to, to fit them and to make AM aligners and things like that. And we used to use uh, water baths for that. And you know, those kind of get disgusting with uh, re-dipping and so forth. So we just started using these hot water pots and get one that you can set on a, on a specific temperature that'll stay there for a while and pour the water into a disposable bowl or, or you can uh, clean the bowls in the uh, dishwasher. And it's a whole lot more sanitary than those hot water baths and a whole lot less expensive. You're going to also want to, uh, to possibly uh, test your patients. You're going to want to work with your medical community as well to test your patients. But um, uh, at times, you may need your own home sleep testing device, and there's a lot of them on the market, and uh, you can do your research, and they're all in the few thousand dollar range. And uh, after, at some point, you may want your own testing equipment. We also want to take photographs of our patients, so we use a digital camera. You probably don't need one that's this kind of intense. Even some of the smaller ones work quite well to document the bite uh, for our patients. Marketing is important for dental sleep and the best place to start is in your own practice and we recommend you having brochures with basically three different messages, uh, sleepiness, snoring, and CPAP intolerance. You can do brochures and you can also do posters. The posters put up in your office really benefit uh, your patients. They'll, they'll start asking questions about what you're doing and what does all this mean and how can you help with these issues. And then you may want to go do some public service uh, talks uh, to either physicians or or lay people like Kiwanis Club, and you, you're going to need some sort of presentation, a PowerPoint or a keynote presentation, and we can help supply those uh, for our members uh, on this little cool USB drive. 
Uh, lastly, you're going to get a lot of uh, correspondence from physicians, sleep tests, and so forth. And most of you are digital these days, and if you're not and you're just going to digital, you're going to have to have a way to scan all these items. And just a, a, a little scanner like this are inexpensive, and it scans uh, documents very quickly. And, of course, uh, you're going to need a way to manage all this and your patients and follow-up treatment, and that's where we really thrive at Dental Sleep Solutions, our DS3 uh, software. That's exactly what it does. It helps manage all these aspects as well as uh, help you with education and a lot of other things we can do. So I hope that helps you understand the items that you need to, to get dental sleep going in your, in your practice. And thanks for uh, reading and tuning in to Dental Sleep Medicine Insider Magazine.